This here is a cashew tree. It's not even a year old and I'm already getting cashews. That's the part on the bottom there. This up here is a cashew apple, which is really good in drinks, actually. They taste a little weird, but they're good in drinks. All right, so this part has some corrosive oil in it. So you're not just supposed to break them open. You're supposed to like put them in a fire and cook the oil out of it or something. Anyway, I was making some pancakes on here and I had a fire going, so I threw a bunch of those in there. And well, this one's still smoking. These things catch on fire. Hopefully that means the oil was burning away. And let's see if I can crack one open. I don't really know what I'm doing. This is ooh, this is my first, uh, you know, experience with cashews from scratch. I kind of broke that one. Oh, that looks kind of nice. A little bit charred on the outside. Oh, yeah. Looks pretty good though. I, I kind of feel like tasting it. Can I eat this? I don't want to eat that corrosive oil I heard about. Man, that looks like a tasty cashew. Let's just pull the piece out. It's still a little soft. Hmm. I can probably just bite that. Hmm, not ready to yet. All right, I'm gonna risk it. Not dying, whoa, that is pretty good. So my friend, whoa, yeah. My friend said that once you try fresh cashews, you'll never want the store-bought ones again. And I see what he's talking about. Man, that's good stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's really good. You just have to go around the little burnt pit, burnt parts. Maybe have a more controlled fire on my next try. But yeah, those are really good. Nice. Well, now I feel like I need to become a cashew farmer. Well, I got my first two trees back there. And, uh, oh, I'm going to have to turn them into cashew butter. Oh, man. That's going to be amazing. I'm going to try another one of these. I'm going to eat a couple before I give any to the kids. You know, just in case, because they're delicious. I mean, just in case they're, they're you know, not good or something. But yeah, I don't feel any, doesn't feel like it's burning my mouth or anything. Yeah, I think, I think that did it. Oh, that wasn't that hard to do. Cool. So I probably seemed a little nervous in this video. It's because reading online about this corrosive oil in the cashews, they make it sound like, you know, like melt your fingers off. Of course, I've spoken to some people in person who've opened cashews before, and they're like, eh, it's not really that bad. So yeah. Anyway, cooking the oil out seems to be working. Mm, not too bad. Yeah, I think, I think a lower fire. Oh man, that one's nice and Oh, delish! Let me get around my little burnt parts. Yeah, I think I got it. I know how to do this. I just need a kind of a mild fire, char the outside of these things, and just not not cook them too much. So you see, like this one got a little charred, and then this one is a little bit soft. So I want them to kind of look like this. Let's get this little papery stuff off. I want them to look like this, but be more dried out like this <clears throat> without the charred ends. All right. I also have another thing in the fire here that I threw in. Ceramic marbles. There's a bunch of them in there. Aurora's been making them. I'll let the rest of them cool off in there, just in case it cracks from cooling too fast. Cashew skills upgraded to level two. Oh, here's some other stuff we grew. Ooh, pineapple. Nice. We have tons of pineapples right now. A bunch of watermelons, too.